What's up, Shackers? Welcome to Shaq's Arcade Corner, where I go over some of the best arcade classics and a brief history. Today on Shaq's Arcade Corner... Rise from your grave. Altered Beast, or Beast King's Chronicle as it's known in Japan, hit arcades in the year 1988. The arcade was produced and developed by Sega. The game was a 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up, where the player took on the role of a centurion, resurrected by Zeus to rescue Athena. The plot is loosely covered, and let's be honest, until now, you didn't even know that this arcade had a plot. The game would scroll to the side at its own pace, kinda like that of the Super Mario Bros. 3 Doom Ship levels. In the stages, a white wolf flashing red would appear, Killing this enemy would net you a power-up. The power-up would let you hit harder and get bigger. Power up. Collecting three of these power-ups would transform you into a beast hybrid, and it changed each level. The first stage, you would transform into a werewolf. The second stage, a dragon. Third stage, a bear. Fourth stage, a tiger. And finally, a golden werewolf for the final stage. Each beast form would play slightly differently, and that was part of the design and fun of this very short arcade game. You had to figure out what each form did and how it worked. If you missed a power up, the stage would continue to scroll forward, moving the boss farther down as you needed to be in beast form to defeat him. If you did manage to beat the game, the end credits revealed that the whole game was just a movie being filmed, with actors in costumes. The game was ported to a variety of different platforms, PC, Famicom, Atari ST, ZX Spectrum, DOS, among others, and most notably was ported to the Sega Genesis, where the game came bundled with the purchase of a console, before being replaced later with Sonic the Hedgehog. Altered Beast also had a handheld Tiger Electronics game, which was terrible. The original arcade version of the game would be ported in true fashion to the Xbox 360, PSN, and Wii's Virtual Console with HD support. It also found its way into iOS and Android, as well as the 3DS. The game may look incredibly easy, but it's actually quite difficult to beat. Have a request for an arcade corner? Tweet me and include hashtag arcade corner. For more videos like this and everything else gaming related, you're already in the right place. You're on shacknews.com. Next time on Arcade Corner.